Welcome back to the Evil Within. Time to find some more stuff. So we have to solve this puzzle. And as you can see, there are some t kind of tubes or stuff going this way. So that means we have to go this way. Now it's a smart idea to keep a low profile here. A lot of bombs here. Which sucks. Now let's use this one. Oh my god. Oh my god, I think I'm pretty much fucked up here. I'm fucked up. I can't go anywhere. Oh god. What the fuck? Oh my god, I, I don't think I've ever seen that before. He fucking went for me. And then disappeared. See, that's the scary part about this, uh... This one. Ruvik can... Now turn up at any time in this fucking place and just, well, kill you instantly. It's quite disturbing, I know, but yeah. So somehow I managed to lose him there. Well, well, well. Do we have more keys? Now, I really thought I would be a dead man here, so I didn't really talk that much because I was kind of like, well, fuck. Oh. So F7. So F7 is it them? I think. F7. So what is that? That's pretty much here at the. Where is that? Here? You have to make it on the right one because otherwise they're gonna be like fucked up. I don't know if this. Oh, look at that! I did the right one. Yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Those hats are actually still alive. As weird as that might sound. Why are you back? I didn't give you permission. Oh. We are. Our science are dedicated to the pursuit of knowledge. You can show me your experiments. Oh, really? I'll show you things. You wouldn't like them. You'd think they're gross. All oh, right, science, yeah. Science, one must do any number of things a lay person may find it disgusting. Well, well, well. Doctor Jimenez might not be that innocent, huh? Distasteful. You think I'm some kind of a monster? You yeah. concern yourself so much with your appearance, but that mind of yours, that's all that matters. Right. That's Marcello. Is that Rufik with him? Oh, fuck. I still hear one. The fuck, there is another one? I knew you weren't dead because your head didn't explode it, even though the wall kind of says something else. Good. Now, as you can see, there are a lot of hiding play, uh, places. Places! Holy crap, man. I don't know what's wrong with me. But... Well, see? One part of the puzzle is solved. 
Well, well, well. So it's very interesting to solve it, but as you can see, there are several hiding places on this uh, map. Now, what that exactly means, you could already see when I met Ruvik. Well, you couldn't really make that out, but it kind of shows that, you know, he's... If he gets you, you're insta-dead. Let's just put it like that. So, I don't know what the fuck happened there. What the fuck? The old safe dial marks with the numbers 0 through 9. Alright. See, there's two people there. A grieving woman and a man. Oh, well, well, well. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm so... Maybe something I can open here? Some more scary rooms here, but... It all looks freaky, but the fact that Ruvik can show up at any time and then goes for you, and when he gets you, you're insta-dead and you have to do shit again, that fucking freaks me the fuck out. It's annoying, but it also freaks me the fuck out. Honestly. Oh, bloody hell. Just keep walking. So who are these people in the mansion then? Are these former servants or something? <coughs> Oops. Dead now, bitch. Still here. What the fuck? Oh my god, there's someone with a gun. Let's burn the fucker. Fuck you, asshole. Let me quickly heal up here before I forget. That's fucking annoying when they have guns. That fucking... I think that kind of ruins it, to be honest. I didn't like that in any of the Resident Evils where the zombies got guns. Or whatever the fuck they, they were called later. But it's just that I'm kind of like, yeah, this, this is not good, you know. You shouldn't have done that. No. Oh. Don't need the axe. Prefer to have a pistol or at least a firearm, so I can take care of them without putting myself into uh, melee range. That's the type of shit you want to avoid. Oh my God, it's him again! Where the fuck is he? <gasps> oh my God, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Look, yeah, I'm dead. Look at this. This is exactly what I meant with bullshit. He fucking teleported himself right behind me and a zombie woke up the moment I walked over him and held me. So this is how what I mean with the bullshit. I was like, oh no. Because I kind of had a feeling like he would immediately teleport behind me. Yeah, if you run out of stuff, it didn't mean this was a setup. I, look, look at the fucking safe points. Is this, uh, what did you call it? Now you can see immediately what's wrong with this game. Uh, or at least this level. And why... A lot of people hate this level. I love the, the mansion design, but this is just a fucking setup. Where you fucking do something, and they just say, no, no. You know what? We can fuck you over whenever we want to. And it's not like they're being clever, like, oh yeah, well, you made a mistake. No, I couldn't do anything there. I got fucked over immediately. Because there was nowhere for me to go. Anyway, that's enough for me, I think, uh... Let's, uh, let me, I'll walk back, then you don't have to see me go through this shit again. So I'll walk back to where I last was, and then hopefully everything will be fine. So, anyway, I thank you for watching, and hope to see you in the next part. Bye-bye.